Before we dive right into today's video, we want to let you know that it contains spoilers for and or episode 6. If you aren't caught up, we highly recommend you pause the video and go watch it. With that out of the way, let's get right to it. Rebellions. In a story as old as time, the heroes fight against a fascist empire to stop its tyranny, restore peace and secure equality for everyone. It's a fairy tale that's been told countless times, and Star Wars is no exception. The Rebel Alliance fought tooth and claw against the Empire. Our heroes were brave warriors who gave the Alliance their all because it was the right thing to do, because they believed in freedom and democracy. This is only part of the story, however. In every fairy tale, a dark truth is hidden behind the heroic deeds of the protagonists, and the Rebel Alliance was no different. For every Leia Organa giving her all, there was a Saw Gerrera. For every Cassius Andor, there was a Skeen, in it for his own skin. Just because a cause is good doesn't mean that bad people won't use it as a cover for their own purposes, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the dark side of the Rebel Alliance. Attention, Sergeant on deck! Fans of the Clone Wars and Rebels will remember Saw Gerrera, a rebel from Onderon that many have conflicted opinions about. During the Clone Wars, his planet was ripped apart by a horrific war. He and his sister were part of the Resistance, but they were under-equipped and untrained. The Jedi stepped in to prepare the Freedom Fighters with great success, but the fight came at a great cost to Gerrera, who lost his sister. The loss broke him. With nothing left to lose, Guerrero left Onderon and took his fight to the galaxy. After the fall of the Republic, he continued operating a small resistance cell that became one of the first cells in the Rebel Alliance. While his heart was in the right place, however, his methods were often so extreme it made the moderate Rebel leaders incredibly uncomfortable, and for good reason. To put it bluntly, Guerrero was an extremist bordering on a terrorist. He may have been fighting the Empire, but in his vengeful fervor, he didn't care who got caught in the crosshairs, nor what would have to be sacrificed. In 3 BBY, he orchestrated the death of Moff Quash Panaka by rigging a bomb to detonate in his residence. This killed the Moff, everyone in his household, and almost killed Princess Leia Organa and Dalne, the Queen of Naboo, who had been visiting with the Moff to discuss workers' rights in the mines. The following year, Guerrera, Captain Rex, and the Spectre Rebel team were investigating the disappearance of all Genosians. While in the tunnels, the Rebels encountered Click Clack, the last survivor of the Genosian species. Although they managed to capture the Genosian, they were unable to understand him due to the language barrier. Guerrera, as he tended to do, had no chill whatsoever and restrained Click Clack, demanding he take them to the source of the mysterious energy reading they'd detected earlier. When they were taken back to his nest, they found the last remaining Genosian Queen Egg and a transmitter. This wasn't enough for Guerrera, who tried everything from threats to physical violence to force the truth out of Click Clack. When that yielded no results, he was determined to drag the Genosian off-world so he could be interrogated. This, however, meant that no one would care for the Genosian Queen Hatchling. Sam was willing to sacrifice the future of an entire species if it meant getting his intel. It took a lot of emotional persuasion from the Spectre crew to dissuade him from his crusade. These weren't his only crimes. Guerrero perpetrated many war crimes in the name of his cause, including, but not limited to, executing prisoners, targeting civilians, and breaking every rule of engagement. Near the end of the war, he had become estranged from the other leading figures in the rebellion who disagreed with his extremist strategies. Guerrero eventually left the Rebel Alliance, taunting them that, when they lost everything, at least they could say they played by the rules. Despite his horrific methods, at least Guerrero fought for a cause he believed in. The same could not be said for many others in the Rebellion. Among the pure-hearted, self-sacrificing rebel heroes and the extremist rebel terrorists, the Alliance had another type of member, the self-serving opportunist. These were rebels who found the Alliance profitable in one way or the other, so allied themselves with the cause until their goals were satisfied. Did they still fight against the Empire? Absolutely. 
But there was a qualitative difference between a true freedom fighter and an opportunistic ally, and there were many occasions during the Galactic Civil War where that became obvious. The most recent example came from Andor, Episode 6. During the Aldani heist, a mission the titular character undertook to join the Rebel Alliance, the goal was to steal the Sector's quarterly payroll. Alongside Andor were other Rebels, such as Taraman Barkona, Karas Nemec, Vel Sartha, and Arvel Skeen. The mission took advantage of the Eye, a local religious event that drew pilgrims into the restricted valley of the Nas Maclean River. The mission initially went off successfully. The Rebels were able to infiltrate the valley and abseil down the dam toward the vault containing the credits they were after. Sartha orders the local commander, Bihaz, to open the vault under threat to his family. The commander cooperated fully, even convincing several Imperial soldiers to lay down their weapons. The rebels were exposed when Corporal Kimsey and his troops discovered several Imperials led by the double agent Lieutenant Gorn loading the credits into the rebels' freighter. A gunfight broke out, during which Taraman was killed when Skeen took cover to protect himself rather than provide cover for him. When they finally took off, the heavy credit cylinders fell and crushed Nemec, causing serious damage to his spine and paralyzing him. Following Nemec's directions, Andor began heading toward Fresno where they hoped to find him medical treatment. This is where Skeen showed his true colors. While he and Andor were waiting for the doctor to save Nemec's life, Skeen suggested they take off with more than 80 million credits and abandon their teammates so they could split the loot. In the episode, Andor proved himself to be one of the pure-hearted rebels by shooting him for his treachery, but we're sure that, if someone else had been in his position, it may not have gone the same way, and the Rebel Alliance would have lost a huge source of credits that they desperately needed for their war efforts. Skeen wasn't the only one. For every Leia and Andor, there were several Skeens just looking out for themselves. This wasn't the Rebel Alliance's fault, however. At the end of the day, a righteous rebellion against a fascist oppressor is still a war, and all wars draw out not just the heroes, but also the worst people. That's how the Empire actually had good soldiers in their ranks sometimes, and how the rebellion ended up with people like Guerrero and Skeen. Those with grey moral values, or those who were in it only for themselves, use the rebels' cause to further their own goals. Things done in the rebellion's name were just as bad as things the Empire did on the regular, and Imperials used this to fuel the propaganda mills. Every attack on civilians or prisoner execution gave the Empire another reason to call the rebels traitors, terrorists, and insurgents, and on many worlds, it continued to hurt the Rebel Alliance's reputation for a long time. Even the heroes themselves sacrificed lives and principles to take down the Empire. Let's not forget how many thousands worked on command ships or how many lives were lost on the Death Star. It wasn't just people like Guerrero or Skeen who perpetrated heinous acts, it was the rebellion as a whole. Such is the nature of war. But what do you think? What was the worst thing ever done in the rebellion's name and do you suggest we make a separate video on it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and as always guys thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.